I feel like that's what's just gonna carry me on. I'd be like, damn, that's a crazy way to think. Future Savage. That's not good. Off the rip. Whew. I already know this video is gonna be heavy, but if you shouldn't want to do that. See what? See, damn! Like what you just said is toxic when you really think about it. Cause, bruh, if I'm perceiving you as a cheater, why would you embrace being a cheater? If you if you know you don't cheat, it's like manipulation backwards. It's like reverse reverse manipulation. This nigga's good. In the middle of the night, I smoke some dope just to let it go. Baby, let me drive the boat. Freedom, nigga, then death row. In the end, I carry all my sorrow, all my agony. All my agony. Don't switch up, nigga. Yeah, I know they really not for me. They not. We'll talk about God, but I already know what they really not for me. What's going on, YouTube? I am your host, Walks World, aka Nate. And I hope you guys are having a good day, good morning, good night. Thank you for clicking on the video. Today's video i was thinking i was like why did i used to act the way i used to in relationships right now look i don't really talk about my relationship too much on youtube because that's like personal but a person i listen to a lot hendrick sensational aka future every time i see a beautiful woman i have to splurge i have to spoil them i'm realizing that i have this problem right now i need help Definitely has played a big role in me trying to be something I was. Me trying to be as toxic as him. And you may say that's a follower mentality and you're not wrong. It definitely is a follower mentality. So I had to divert myself from trying to be something I wasn't, trying to be the person I was. And now that I am the person that I am and how I want to be for me and future me, bars i can now see that this perception of future the toxic masculinity or whatever you want to call it is detrimental especially to the new generation because a lot of the new generation listens to social media too too much and lets it form a non by a uh, form a biased opinion on relationships because now relationships are ooh toxicity that's fire that's sexy i want that i need that you don't need that. I promise y'all you don't need that. I found a video that says future's toxic masculinity philosophy explained. Cause a lot of people see future as like king toxic, king fuckboy, right? And I'm like, it's crazy. Cause a lot of people want to be future, but turn into Russell Wilson or Russell Wilson's get did like did in by bad bitches and turn into future. That's just the game, honestly. And think about me, I realized it enough that you don't gotta try to pull bad bitches, bro. Cause bad bitches don't have no type of value, no type of structure. And even, even the ratchet ghetto bitches, like all the women that the bad bitches listen to, City Girls, Megan Thee Stallion, all of them, they're cuffed, cuffed. They're not cuffed for no reason. They're cuffed because they're not the people they say they are on the song. So before we get into it, I mean, you guys score down below, hit that like button, hit subscribe, support the kid. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. I didn't want to change your perception of me. I just got to embrace it and become because I become, I become, I, I fear it and I don't want to fear anything. So anytime you fear something, you just want to become, you want to get over your fears. So I embrace the people, that person that you might think I am because I feel like that's what's just gonna carry me on. I'd be like, damn, that's a crazy way to think. Future Savage. That's not good. Off the rip. Whew. I already know this video is gonna be heavy, but if you shouldn't want to do that. See, what, see, damn, like what you just said is toxic when you really think about it. Cause bruh, if I'm perceiving you as a cheater, why would you embrace being a cheater? If you if you know you don't cheat, it's like manipulation backwards. It's like reverse, reverse manipulation. This nigga's good. Nature has been a focal point in a lot of men's new ways of thinking nowadays. Like a bag, Scotty. <laughs> I won't lie, she is bad though. But basic, well, you don't work. You don't have no attributes mm -hmm. to the table here. Like what I are we talking about? I do have attributes. I'm, like a, I'm, a, I'm. Oh, that's I her. Inspire my men. How you don't got no job? You got what's your education? Listen, what, when, what's your master's but you degree have here? to no. Treat her like dirt, and you won't get hurt. But treat mm. her like, <laughs> like dirt, and she won't get hurt. Is that true? I treat women like nah, nah. That's that's definitely not true. I treated women. I've treated women like dirt, and they definitely got hurt. That's not true. Queen and get left on scene. Mm. Treat her like a queen and get left on. Bruh, I, I'm trying to understand it from a toxic point and a, a positive, healthy point. Cause like what they say is not wrong. Like a lot of niggas will treat a bad, a bad, a fine woman like a queen and then get left on. This philosophy has cut a lot of use in today's society because it gives you an outlet in life where you can't get hurt in relationships. It gives you the ability of if your girlfriend or boyfriend ever ends up cheating on you, you can just say, well, shit, I was cheating on you with your friend anyways. So no worries. 
It's a simple concept to avoid all pain and vulnerabilities. I don't love you. Will you ever find true love like this? Eh, probably not. But you'll never get your heart broken, and you'll continue to be able to pursue life like a savage. Future's been but pursuing life like a savage don't really get you nowhere. I mean, like me, I'm a lover boy. As corny as I may sound, I'm like Drake. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lover boy. You feel what I'm saying? I like relationships, but also it's like embedded in men, like in our in, innate nature that you know we gon' we, we gon' see someone that's fine and be like, I want that. But we also have the logical thinking of I don't need that. But a lot of savages think I want that. I need that. And I'm gonna get that very successful in his lifetime so can you really knock his philosophy yeah. it's an extremality to defend off against the simp like in your feels culture that some men and women have curated between the two of us who's more attractive oh definitely you oh i'm glad you said that i would have said that the reason that this works is because you're no longer really distracted from your grind because your feelings towards partners don't matter you have full focus on your craft and yourself it's a selfish mindset but hey your confidence is at an all-time high now. Respectfully. Oddly enough, there are some perks of doing this. In a lot of ways, this philosophy has given men especially more reason to pursue success. There's a lot of people that have become weak and are convinced that their value is on the dependency of their significant other and not their personal self. Mm. Essentially, the individualism you create with this tactic in life allows you to not be fucked with. In a lot of ways, gives you enough barriers around you to remove distractions and give you meaning to life. Okay, that's but fair. But what that's cost fair. does this come to? You're gonna hurt people and you will lose a lot of respect. But at the same time, Future has already promoted this lifestyle to his name, so anybody who comes into his life should expect that. Really only bringing fake people who have- See, and that's the thing, right? <sighs> this man Future has like six kids or six baby mamas, right? I seen the TikTok, it said, who's at fault? The women that keep coming to a broken car, AKA Future, or the broken car that keeps that 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 just is left alone right because i'm sure future doesn't like necessarily throw himself at these women i highly doubt that i honestly highly doubt that the way future be the way people expose future's messages saying be good beloved i can't imagine future just throwing himself being in every girl's dms trying to bag him i can't i can't i can't but i can't imagine women trying to get in his dms knowing his situation it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense it if I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I just wish women had more logical thinking, bro. They would make so many less mistakes. If alternate motives into his life is the only problem. Many people call this philosophy toxic masculinity and immoral, but many have really driven this philosophy into different variances to increase strength in men. Dealing with their manhood and that you uh, give them this message that it's okay to be a man. It's not okay, it's necessary. What the hell are we gonna do without men? They work themselves to death, and often literally, and, and the, the, um, the gratitude for that is sore, sorely lacking, especially among the people who should be most grateful. At the end of the day, people are going- AKA his family. And what does his family consist of? His wife and his kids. Before you have kids, you need a wife. So, and, all actuality is what he's saying. The most people that should be grateful for the man's work is shoddy back at home. It makes sense when you think about it, but it's just the way it's talked about. I'm going to run with what works for them. Future's notions are known, so if you date him, you know what you're getting into. So he's really not hurting anybody. He's simply living a life that curates to his preferences. And if you guys enjoy the video, like this was a well put together video, and it definitely did explain a lot of uh, Future's uh, quotes a lot of his music like if i really like come on now like let's really let's really like this song right here is probably one of his most toxic songs bro like let's really look at it bro he said i've been in the studio working no residuals that's not even the bar bro he said i know damn well this must be karma 
Left every pair of my jealous at the condo. Technically, I never packed up and leave. Left 80K in the dresser that you can keep. And I got this bad team at disposal. I cooked it up and then I went global. My baby mama puts a Range Rover. Had to make sure I got it fully loaded. Can't be the one and then you get exposed. If you the one, then God will let me know. But at the same time, I like the vibe of one. I'm paranoid I got a ride with one. <laughs> And I had to explain to her last night. I had to send this one freak on the last <laughs> Like, bro, this man, future, and it doesn't stop there, bro. Won't get a sponsor from me, ain't no confessions. Before I tell a lie, I won't tell you nothing. Anytime I got you, girl, you my possession. If and if I hit you once, you part of my collection. Like, this man, future, really knows how to sell toxicity, bro. And I see why people sell into it. Because it's so, like, his beats, the flow, the melody, the tone, like, all of it just sounds so good put together. You would think he's preaching from the gospel. But in all actuality, like, when you really dive deep into Future's lyrics, bro, he's, what he's saying is not healthy. And I hope you guys really understand, especially myself, because it took me a while to understand that that the music you listen to definitely plays a role in how you present yourself to the world. Cause I definitely was presenting myself to the world in a way that was not healthy or wasn't Nate bait, if that makes any sense. Cause bro, like this ain't even, this ain't even the only song bro. Like, like look, I'm about to show y'all another song that Future just be like, he is, is crazy to say, but he be preaching toxicity, bro. <sighs> Going for that nigga, get it over with. Going for that nigga, get it over with. Future Hendrix, I know your true feelings, ain't? I ain't worried about no fucking, I ain't worried about no fucking. The sexing on the late night mean that much to you. My love don't mean that much to you. Fucking these hoes, man, too damn much to you. I just hope when you fuck another that nigga when you finish, hope he can say that he love you. Now, do you feel better about yourself? Do you feel better about yourself? Did it feel better when I left? My, my words, I'm a ball without you. I came home last night to a menage, yeah. Got my dick sucking, I was thinking about you. I was fucking on a slut and I was thinking about you. When you fucking on that nigga, hope you thinking about me. When you laying with that nigga, hope you thinking about me. Cause I'm thinking about you. <laughs> Go for that nigga, get it over with. Bruh, like. It sounds so good in my ear, pause. It sounds so good in my ears, but like, listen to what he's saying, bro. I ain't worried about, I ain't worried about no fucking, I ain't worried about no fucking. The sex on that late night mean that much to you. Fucking these hoes meant too damn much to you. Like, he's, he's worse than Brent. Maybe. 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 Bryson? No. Bryson was on a, Future is like, if Bryson and Brent were one and they were just on different timing like i just hope y'all learn all right from this video and me explaining these lyrics and these songs that don't fall into the trap of social media and toxicity because i promise you you're gonna have too many heartbreaks you match you may catch something and you may end up with a baby that you don't want like young boy and future that's all i'm gonna say all right if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to subscribe like comment down below be sure to share the video with your friends your auntie your cousin your grandma your baby moms, your baby daddy, whoever you think may enjoy the video. Actually, send it to your baby daddy and your baby mama and tell them that I said toxicity is not cute. Send it to your girlfriend that you think playing with you, your boyfriend who you think is cheating on you. Let them know that shit's not cute, all right? Y'all deserve better, and I hope y'all get better, because I got better, all right? Alicia and everyone, y'all, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace out.